Hey guys, it's fun to make it by Ren Ren. If you want to see my travel hiking tips and tricks video for Europe and my announcement about my vacation, stay tuned for more. Hey y'all, so I am back with another video. Please excuse me, it's really late. It's like one in the morning and this is day before I go on vacation so my makeup it looks crazy my hair looks crazy it's been a long night but I am going on vacation and if you follow my blog or Twitter I've been talking about it for months but tomorrow um, which is Friday August 3rd I am leaving for a trip to Europe for two weeks with my boyfriend and I'm so excited so I really really want to do like some kind of packing video because in addition to like my love of makeup, I am really obsessed with like organization and packing and stuff. And I tried to film a couple of times my luggage packing video, but it got too much. So I thought stick with what you know you're good at, which is more beauty and cosmetics and toiletries. So I narrowed it down to some helpful tips and tricks. So I'm gonna show you guys some um, some things I've kind of learned because I've traveled quite a bit and things that I think might help you guys. So if you happen to be going um, on vacation, these are great toiletry and makeup packing tips, um, especially if you're going for a long period of time or if you're going overseas. So before we get started, though, I wanna show you some cute little things I did. Um, I just got my nails done. I got a uh, gel mani and I tried white for the first time and I wanted something nice and clean for my Europe trip um, and the nails are short because I didn't want them getting in the way. So I really like how they came out. And then I added something special. I, when I got home, I added this on myself. So I have a little red, white, and blue nail, just one, um, because I am going to the Olympics in London. So I'm so excited. So, um, and then all week in preparation for my trip, um, I've been wearing this little necklace from Forever 21. It's actually um, an, a um, gold Eiffel Tower with some rhinestones because I am also going to Paris. So I just wanted to show, share that with y'all. This was like a $3 necklace from Forever 21, but it makes me so happy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna first start off with my toiletries because I've done a couple of makeup packing videos, but not a lot of toiletry videos. So when you go on vacation, especially somewhere like Europe or Asia, a lot of times you'll notice that the, um, at least in Europe, the the hotels are um, hotel rooms and bathrooms are smaller. So I've run into that personally when I've been in Europe before. And as a result, you don't have as much counter space, you don't have as much room. Plus when you pack for a long vacation, like I'm going to Europe for two weeks, I don't want to pack way too much because I know I'm going to bring stuff back, right? So I found that whenever I go on a long kind of vacation or when one where I'm going to be sharing a room with somebody, I bring something like this. And it's a hanging toiletry bag that um, folds up like this and then it also rolls out. And the important part is that it has a hook. So anytime you're in, in the bathroom and you see that they have the little towel hooks, this is where you would hang this up. So you would hang this on the back of the bathroom door or on the towel rack. That way you don't have to waste any counter space. It stays out of the way. It's nice and organized because this one, I got this so long ago, years and years ago. But it has one, two, three, four compartments. And I fit every single one of my toiletries in here from hair, body, skin, like bath and everything. So I really recommend this. It's really great to have. Um, like I said, it's clear and everything is kind of protected. Even if you have a spill, it won't really seep through. So I'm just going to start out with some of the things that I'm packing on vacation. So at the top here, you'll notice a couple of key things I think is great to have. Bring a little nail kit with you in case you break a nail, need to trim your nails, file your nails. I love packing um, Q-tips in these little things. Like you follow them in find them in the travel aisle. And I just refill it each time because it keeps them... The Q-tips nice and protected. Um, and then whatever, like if you have any prescription creams or anything like that, I have a bunch of them in this top pocket. Okay, so in this middle section right here, it's a little bit of a bigger pocket. I actually was able to fit my um, hair brushes in here. I actually just bring a teasing comb and the little skinny end can be used to part my hair. 
And then I bring one of these kind of combs, which is like a boar bristle brush. It's like a mini size that I got from brushlab.com. Works really great for just detangling, combing, brushing, or even blowouts. So I have that in there. And then a lot of the toiletries in here are mini sizes because that way it doesn't take up room. I specifically buy toiletries just for travel, like a mini deodorant um, and stuff like that. So I also in here, I bought, I bought this specifically for vacation. It's the Cetaphil Daily Face Moisturizer and it has SPF 50 in it. So this is gonna be my sunscreen slash moisturizer while I am abroad. So I love how it has such a high concentration. I have my eye cream in here. This is a full size, but since it's small, I stuck it in there. And I wear um, individual contacts, so I have a whole bunch in here. And I also always pack with me a little zippy full of bobby pins, um, hair elastics, and hair like claw clip type deals. That way I can have on um, my hair tools when I need them. So that is the second row. Let's move to the third row. Now I'm kind of getting more into like skincare and stuff. So in here, I have, um, I have one of these, like this size lotion, and it's pretty big, but it's still smaller than a regular size. And I actually just refill it each time because the cap you can pop off. And I'm bringing this for both myself and my boyfriend, so we'll share the one lotion. This is more than enough for two weeks for two people. I have a toothbrush with a little travel cap on it so it doesn't get messed up. Always bring makeup remover wipes because they come in so handy when you don't have time to clean your face or you need to remove your makeup quickly, you're exhausted after a long day of like hiking around. Um, I have my Mario Badescu Space Serum, which is great because it's little. I have a toothpaste again. This is a bigger size, but I share it with my boyfriend. And then I have a mini um, makeup remover from YSL, which happened to be a tiny one that came in a kit. So again, if you have tiny things, great, stick them in here, especially if they're small but still good enough to last you well. And anything that's kind of really liquidy, I usually will put it in a Ziploc bag to prevent some extra leakage. Okay, so then in the last compartment, this is actually the biggest one, I have all of like my shampoos and stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I do. First off, I, do, I have all of my hair products too. In here, and like I said, I always do mini sizes. So I have a mini hair spray from Alnet, and mini dry shampoo from Tresemme, and a mini heat protector from Beyond the Zone. All minis. I also have a mini, um, well I don't know if this is a mini, but it's small, it's a Chi um, Silk Infusion Hair Serum. And I always have to bring these hair products because um, you wanna maintain your regular hair and skin routine overseas just because your skin gets out of whack as it is and you want products that you know work on you. In here, again, I have a bunch of minis um, and I put them again in a Ziploc just in case they spill. Um, so I have actually, this is a mini um, foaming face wash bottle from Cosmetics and I put my Aveeno foaming face wash in here. Then I have two shampoo and conditioners. So they're mini size and they should last me for the two weeks. I also bring my razor, a bar of soap, and it's just more convenient because I know the soap will last for two weeks. You can bring your body wash if you want. And I always bring a little shower cap because I don't wash my hair every day. And usually the shower caps that come in the bathrooms, like at hotels, are kind of cheapy. Like they're that thin, disposable kind. So that is it for my toiletries. And it might seem like a lot, but this is like everything I'll need on day. We'll never have to run to the pharmacy or drugstore to grab something. So it all fits nicely in here and it rolls up and then I can just throw it in my, in my bag and then hang it up when I get to the hotel. Okay, so um, speaking of toiletries, I also pack this. Now this is actually, um, it's a quart size bag which is a travel approved to go through the security lines where you can put your mini bottles of liquids that are three ounces or less and I got it at Target or something so that way it kind of is very very durable and it's not like a regular Ziploc bag which can be like getting holes and break so I love that and inside I'm going to show you stuff so this is what I'm bringing on the plane with me I'm checking in this big bag and my luggage this is not coming with me especially because I exceed the liquid requirement so these are items that I pack for the plane, like the plane to Berlin I think is like nine hours. So I need stuff to take care of my skin and I got a lot of tips 
from the Lisa Eldridge um, travel face care video. So really quickly, I have um, Aqua 4. Everything in here is 3 ounces or less. Face wipes, makeup remover wipes. Like Once you're on the plane for a certain amount of time, it's almost like you're going to sleep and you're taking off your makeup like usual. So instead of washing my face, I'll have the makeup remover wipes. I have some handy wet wipes to clean my hands. I have a mini um, face cream, like a moisturizer. So it's mini and it's great. So after I clean my face, I can moisturize. I have a mini hand lotion. And a lot of these are things to keep you rehydrated because the air in the plane is very drying. Eye drops. And here is a mini eye cream in a little five gram jar. Hand sanitizer. I have um, contact lenses, and I wear dailies, so these are disposable. And I threw in a Tide pen. This is a little thing I got in my glossy box. It's like a little tin of petroleum, kind of all over moisturizer that you can put anywhere. And then I have like nose spray because I have allergies. So these will be great for the plane ride, and I'll keep this with me in my carry-on for the plane. So that's pretty much it for the toiletries. Now let's move on to the last topic, which is makeup. And you know I've done a couple of travel makeup videos, but each time it's a little different because it really depends on where I'm going, how much I have to pack, and stuff like that. So the last travel makeup video was for the New York makeup show. So I had a whole bunch of makeup, a lot of room in my luggage as well. This time I wanted to keep it way more compact. So instead of that bag that you saw was from Target, I have a regular makeup bag now. It's a little bit bigger than a regular one actually. This one's from MAC, but it still like does not take up too much room. And this is actually, everything in this bag is going to be checked into my like check-in luggage. So I'm going to show you really quickly. It's kind of similar to the products in my last video, but I organized it a little differently. So in this Ziploc bag, I have all of my eye stuff including lash glue, pencils, brow products, um, and tweezers, and curlers. They're all in this little baggie. And I keep everything separated by category, and it makes your life a whole bunch easier, believe me. In this small little zippy, I have a whole bunch of travel makeup brushes. Same as the last video, they're all, a lot of them are Sigma. And I also have um, some um, mini brush cleanser and a spray bottle in here, and brush cleanser wipes. I actually have more travel makeup brushes than I usually bring with more with me, but I wanted to cut it down so it wouldn't take as much room. And this little Ziploc baggie, and all these small, irregularly sh shaped zippies are from Michaels. I actually use them sometimes for my bridal makeup touch-up kit that I give to brides. And here are all the lip products I'm bringing, and I have a red, hot pink, a nude, and a neutral, like four different color tones to choose from. Um, I've read more little wet wipes to clean my hands and stuff like that. I have Q-tips in here. And the last bag right here is face foundation type product. So I tried to cut it down. Um, I probably have a couple of extra things in here just in case because when you think about it, you wanna have daytime makeup and nighttime makeup, especially for two weeks. So I actually have a tinted moisturizer concealer, under eye corrector, face primer, a little um, blender sponge, makeup setting spray, and then my little Bobbi Brown face touch up kit. But there are no really large foundations or large of anything in here. They're all small. And I did that on purpose so it wouldn't take up too much room. So it all fits really easily in this bag with room to spare. And the reason why I leave some room to spare is because of this. So this is something new I've tried for this trip, and it's because I've learned in the past that if you have a palette, anything like powdery, like a powder compact, an eyeshadow palette, um, anything like that, they will be in danger of cracking on a trip. So I have a Z palette, which has all of my eyeshadows and like cheek color and stuff like that, and I'm bringing this in a, it's bubble wrap in a, another clear zippy and it's going with me on my carry-on because I do not want to risk it cracking on that long flight. So I'm going to show you what I did. So these are the only kind of powder products that I'm bringing that are in pressed form. 
So I put them in this little envelope, which is um, a bubble wrap envelope. And this is the Z palette that you saw in my last video. It has a few changes in here, but here it is. This is my dedicated travel makeup Z palette. I have my Eve Pro face powders, my um, blunt contour color, um, gingerly blush, my Kevin O'Crash um, cheek highlighter, and that's pretty much all of my powder face products. I don't need anything else because um, the gingerly blush is like a neutral blush and I don't need multiple blushes. I have my setting powders or my powder foundation and my shimmer and contour. The rest of the stuff I have brow powders as well as various eyeshadows. Now, a lot of the eyeshadows are neutral colors, but I also stuck in just a few kind of brights, like wearable brights, just in case I want to spice it up a little bit. So I keep that nice and packed. I also have in this eyeshadow duo because I just love these colors and they make great quick daytime colors with like a neutral on the lid and then like a little bit of a darker copper in, um, on the outer V. And then the last thing in here is I have, I purposely have tried to condense all of my products into one Z palette because I don't want a bunch of powder compacts. But I do have one exception and this is kind of new and the reason why I'm bringing this is because it's summer and I want really glowy skin. So this is the MAC Cheek and Cheerful Mineralized Blush. And whenever, if you do have compacts like this, I do suggest that you take some tissue, especially with domed products and put it in between and that way there is a little protection because this is a dome blush. So this is a really pretty great um, like bronzed kind of glowy look and I don't have another product that's not in this form. Um, if you saw my summer makeup video I had um, like cheek or I think I have it here somewhere. I had this product like these kind of MSFs but they're so big and I just wanted to just bring one little one. So like I said, they are gonna go in here. Nice and protected in this little pouch and then more bubble wrap. And the good thing about being a makeup artist is that I, at least I personally have so many of these clear kind of bags that they come in really handy for travel. So that is pretty much my makeup toiletry packing for two weeks um, abroad. I really should be okay with all this. I shouldn't have to run out and go make an emergency trip anywhere for toiletries because I kind of plan just enough so that way my boyfriend and I wouldn't need, wouldn't run out of anything and wouldn't need anything. So this is it. Okay, sorry about that guys, but my video randomly cut off. I'm still getting used to the new camera. But I really wanted to say that um, Thank you for all your well wishes on my travels. Um, I'm going to miss you guys. I won't really be on my blog or, or on YouTube. And I know you guys are used to me posting my blog five days a week. But I will be on vacation for real for two weeks. I'm going to try to sneak on Twitter um, using Wi-Fi while I'm abroad. So I'm listed as Makeup by Ren Ren on Twitter. I hope you guys follow me. I'll try to twit pick and send messages. And I'm actually going to also do a... Um, like a vlog while I'm there so I think that should be fun and then I'll do a souvenir like European beauty haul when I get back so really excited and I'm gonna miss you guys and wish me luck and I'll see you in a couple weeks ciao bellas